completion of this section, you will be able to identify and describe basic electrical terms and components. Electricity is the flow of electrons from an area of high electrical potential to an area of low electrical potential. All matter is made up of atoms, and the center of an atom is the nucleus. The nucleus contains positively charged particles called protons and uncharged particles called neutrons. Surrounding the nucleus are negatively charged particles called electrons. When the balancing force between protons and electrons is upset by an outside force, electrons will move from atom to atom. If an atom loses electrons, the flow of these electrons constitutes an electric current. Voltage is electrical pressure that's been converted from chemical or mechanical energy into electrical energy, as in a battery or an alternator. Voltage, which is measured in volts, pushes electrons through a circuit and is similar to how hydraulic pressure pushes water through a pipe. For example, a battery and an alternator provide electrical pressure. The higher the voltage, the greater the electrical pressure. When an atom loses electrons, the flow of these electrons constitutes an electric current. Using our water flow and pipe example, we can also describe current as the rate at which water exits the pipe. For electricity, however, electric current is described as the number of electrons passing a given point in a circuit in one second. Electric current is measured in amps. As a circuit operates, the flow of current is constant throughout the circuit. Direct current, or DC, electricity is a one-way flow of electrons through a conductor. A battery or alternator provides a source of voltage between the positive, or plus, and negative, or minus terminals. The majority of electrical circuits and components on a heavy-duty vehicle operate on DC electricity. Some examples are the lights, engine starter, and transmission shift system. Alternating current, or AC, electricity is a back-and-forth movement of electrons through a conductor. For example, wheel speed sensors on vehicles with ABS generate an alternating current electrical output. Electrical resistance is a material's opposition to the flow of electric current, and this resistance is measured in ohms. Let's look again at our water flow and pipe example. You'll remember that we're substituting water pressure for electrical voltage. If the water pressure flowing through the pipe remains constant, the flow at which water exits the pipe will depend on the amount of resistance the water meets as it passes through the pipe. As resistance increases, flow decreases. Voltage drop is the amount of voltage in a circuit that's lost between the originating power supply and the device being powered. Voltage drop is normal in all electrical circuits and only occurs when electric current is flowing. For a circuit to operate efficiently, it's important to keep voltage drop to a minimum. In an efficiently operating electrical circuit, the voltage will drop to zero directly after the last load device being powered. An electrical conductor is any material that offers little resistance to the flow of electric current through the material. While all materials conduct electricity to some extent, some are better conductors than others. Metal, such as copper, is a typical conductor. An insulator offers resistance that impedes the flow of electric current. Some examples of insulators are rubber, glass, and plastic. A fuse is a safety device that protects a circuit from excessive electric current or overload. When current exceeds a fuse's specific amperage rating, the internal metal element in the fuse melts, which opens the circuit and interrupts the flow of electricity to the load. 
A circuit breaker is an automatic switch that stops the flow of electric current to the load when a circuit experiences excessive electrical current flow. When this happens, the circuit breaker opens a set of contacts to break the circuit and interrupts the flow of electricity to the load. Circuit breakers are typically used instead of fuses in heavy-duty vehicles. A diode is an electronic device that protects a circuit by restricting current flow to one direction when transient voltages occur in an electrical system. Transient voltages are brief overvoltages that can occur when relay or solenoid coils de-energize. A 12-volt direct current solenoid coil can create thousands of volts of alternating current when the solenoid coil is de-energized. This energy is referred to as a voltage surge or spike. Transient voltages can disrupt, damage, or completely destroy electronic components in a vehicle, either immediately or over a long period of time. Installing a diode across the solenoid coil or in the circuit wiring suppresses transient voltages. A relay is an electromagnetic switch that consists of a coil, armature, spring, and a set of electrical contacts, which are designed to carry the heavy electric current required to operate a load, such as a motor or pump. The relay consists of two separate independent circuits. One circuit is low amperage, and the other circuit is high amperage. In the first low amperage circuit, a switch controls power to the coil. When the switch is closed, the coil is energized, and it attracts the armature, which acts on the relay contacts in the second high amperage circuit. When the relay contacts close, the second high amperage circuit turns on a device, such as a motor or pump. When the coil is not energized, a spring pulls the armature away, opens the circuit, and the motor or pump is turned off.